One of the requests we've gotten is to show how to create a dashboard in Looker Studio using GA4 data that shows activity by day of week. Obviously, there's some benefits to doing this, right? So it will help you, for instance, with paid search budget to see when are people searching and clicking and tending to buy on your website. And so I know there's certain businesses that are, for instance, business related websites that may only make uh, you know, sales or leads on the weekend. So does it make sense then to reduce your budgets on the weekends and save money to spend during the week when more people are active or vice versa? Sometimes there's businesses that are more active um, during certain days of the week towards the end of the week or something um, that, you know, you need to know that as well. So having a good understanding of that data is easy to do. Let's take a look in Looker Studio how to do that. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. We're going to look at the bar chart just because I think it's easy to see, but you could do this in a table. You could also do it with a line chart or a pie chart, but so it's really up to you. So in this, we're going to take a look at the days of weeks. So we're going to go in here and it's day of week. And you can see it's not particularly well ordered, but we're going to, we're interested in this case in purchases since this is a, a retail site. So e-commerce purchases. Okay. Now for whatever reason, this one starts out on Sunday, but it's using seven as a number instead of the word Sunday. We don't know why that's happening. I think it's a bug in Looker Studio. I've tried it with different data sources and it's a very odd, um, thing that's, that's happening. So don't know why. So we're not going to sort by e-commerce. We want to sort by day of week. And you can see here, we still want to do ascending. So this way it starts with Monday and goes through the end of the week on Sunday. Um, so that gives you purchases, um, the amount of, of purchases on the site. You could also do users. So let's do um, active users. And that'll give you an idea of like conversion and how they're converting on the site, that kind of thing. You could obviously look at conversion rate as well. Just understand like, are there certain days of the week that people are converting more? Um, the other thing that you can do here now is try to get an understanding of this by channel. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. So you can go in here and look at, for instance, you could create a filter. So you'd have one dashboard that would have multiple different view. So you could have one of these reports be for, for, for instance, paid search. Um, I'm going to get rid of the active users cause it kind of throws that chart off a little bit. So you could go down here and create a filter and let's call it uh, organic. And we want the, session default group to be equal to organic. And then I think it starts. And so you could create a number of filters like that. We're going to do a dashboard that look, gives you control over the um, channel that you're looking at. So instead of day of the week, we're going to do session default channel group. Okay. We don't need a, a metric in there. And this will allow you to then click on this and say, you don't want to see referrals. You can remove that. Or if you only want to see organic, you can do that. Or if there are specific channels that you want to see, obviously you can, uh, or I chose organic social. So we want organic search. So you can, add it that way. So that way you see those metrics in that dashboard and this will control everything. So say for instance, you have this, let's copy this or say we wanted to look at users. So we're going to look at active users and that way we can have the active users and sessions by this selection of channel. So again, maybe we want it to be only direct. And so we could go in and look at direct usage. And we can see what days they're buying and when they're coming to the site and that type of thing. Now, again, you could do this by filters. You could do it by a number of different things. You can add other metrics to this. Um, but this is potentially useful for you when you're doing your budgeting. Now, the other thing that you could do is let's take a look at, uh, hours. 
So I'm going to reduce the size of these just to move them out of the way. Let's look at hours. And we're going to expand this to all of them again so that we don't get skewed data. So you can see the different times of day during this period of time that people are purchasing. Now you can add to this and you could give it a specific day, um, date time period as well. So we could, uh, or date period, we could do the same dropdown list and we could do date. And get rid of that. And so we could do specific day periods in there, or we could do get rid of that. And we could do date, uh, date range control. And so that way we could choose like specific weeks or something like that. So you can actually go in here and then select, let's say last week. And then you have an additional level of control over that. So not only can you check, select the, the channels, but you can also then select the date range. And you can see for these guys, they're only getting sales on the weekends, it looks like, although they have users during the day. So you can build out a complete dashboard like this. You can add other metrics that help you understand what days of the week are the best for you, where you need to be assigning your you know, monetary budget and that type of thing. Um, like I said, you could also build a table in here if you wanted to do that, if that helps with your layout. But this will give you an overall insight very quickly and easily to see what are your best days. Should you be doing something? Should you be posting, for instance, social media on those days? Should you be doing something with your budget to help you know, push those days that, send t that people tend to be shopping? Um, so that's a quick and easy way to do that. If you have other ways that you're doing kind of date reporting for uh, using Looker Studio or GA4, I'd love to hear about it. So leave it in the comments. Um, if you have requests for different types of um, videos or informational stuff on how to use Looker Studio or GA4, let us know. We'd love to hear feedback from you guys. This uh, request came from a YouTube uh, watcher, so um, we appreciate the suggestion for doing that. And then, as always, folks, if you need help with setting up your own Looker Studio, GA4, or whatever, our agency is more than happy to help you. We'd love to hear from you about that as well. So visit us at apothecamarketing.com, sign up for a 30 minute free consultation, and we'll talk to you about your needs and potentially how we can help you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.